in city would you look at the impact of political violence on the country uh, economy abido introduced me to you guess them earlier we get cd yaya tunis from the all people's congress apc party in the uh, publicity national publicity secretary and also we get andrew lavali in the executive director for institutes for governance reform we in a igr and would expect alpha khan for join we inside the program we're not the presidential spokesperson well for start for look at this issue the igr uh, put a report together with entitled the cost of violence protest and political instability in sierra Leone, and then do a research we look at the cost and loss of political violence on the country economy. Andrew Lavalli will take we through that report today, but make we start Andrew Lavalli amongst plenty issues now the country. Why IGR been decided for do a report on political instability and impact on the country economy? Thank you very much. Um, so the the basic reason is will not only happen again. And now because of that, they will try for um, understand which is not the cost. And we'll not only try for understand which is not the cost, we'll try for understand which is not the drivers that we think they happen. So um, which is responsible for that situation there for the past three years. And Fambulen will not say, you know, political instability, it actually destroy a country. So in fact, the one that we didn't calculate which they call gross domestic product, they call GDP. That not, GDP really not the whole wealth we get for a country. Um, I just hear you say the Ministry of Finance don't debase them because it used to be about five billion dollars. Now in the entire wealth, but it's been increased. Uh, I think statistics are will get the figures, but it's more than six billion dollars now. Uh, but so that wealth day. Where you get violent demonstration, where you get political instability, where they give you an inability for work together, it is underminer. And because for the past how many years now we don't get one demonstration after another, it fine for law understand a which is the driver, which they make this to happen, and you know it fine for demonstrate. And don't get me wrong, I'm a right activist, and we live on right activism. Um, now that make we glad the West Alone really the key space. For everybody, for everybody, talk the kind of things that I have said about President Kuruma, the thing that I don't talk about President Bio, in other countries, not possible, self. So, um, freedom is a part of part of uh, we life, and demonstration a part of democracy. But we become violent. People they begin to die. People they begin to destroy property. Um, so we, we try to understand um not only the cost but also the drivers and are two things we we try for understand waiting it affects because we can normally say this year will not happen it really affects you everybody know but nobody able to put numbers to her it make investor in the camp does it actually make investor in the camp it affect business does it affect actually affect business well, they can look at the impact of political violence when we topic for today but i see you scope a limitation now 2020 to 2023 why limited to this um on interestingly we actually start start uh, the whole study cover from 2012 not only all the data we'll get are from 2012 but just that the concentration of violence um it's it's largely around them period and day. so we try for or really put the searchlight on them three years and they follow understand the implication you know say by 2020 we'll be in the, in the in the context of uh, COVID, we've been get political, uh, you know, violent demonstrations. We happen, uh, uh, you know, the prison. We happen at Makini. We know there was this um, issue around the generator on Makini. All of that are discounted. So the 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 one who actually look at now that one they will happen, you know, from August 10 to uh, November 26. Um, then 11 incidences that we have. Uh, uh, how much violence on a record, political violence from 2012, where the reports actually look at and when I decide for limit them um, to what did happen from 2020 to 2023 and so why we, we, that? We, we, we look like the past five years in terms of violent demonstration, not so violence so where somebody just go beat a woman or some man, woman go beat a man, not so that would they look at. Would they look at violent demonstration? The incidences then they then re become more um, more common in the last I would say uh, four years I, I, I would say precisely. So when you watch, we look at uh, eleven incidences of of in fact not only violence but rumors of violence. Just somebody they say would they come out so would they can protest. 
so you get 11 inc incidences then out of the 11 incidences then they, for the past or incidents then they, sorry for the past um three years now seven of them were um, actually violent in fact uh, this re research and acting way any Sierra Leonean can replicate you don't even need to go ask uh, anybody you just need to hold your computer go online and there's a website to them called crisis 24 crisis 24 on a daily basis anything they happen around the world they can actually record them so we actually go uh, from month to month day by day on crisis 24 just for understand what in the happen that the country all right now um as you mentioned say violence demonstration um don't they happen over the past year but again are you go assess a salon in terms of um demonstration the country don't they get that kind freedom day for let people go out and demonstrate well we will come to the drivers later on because in this research we actually study seven countries um, so we study Sierra Leone, the, all the Manor River Union countries, Sierra Leone, Guinea, Liberia, Ivory Coast, and three others, uh, Benin, um, Gambia, and Togo. I mean, why? Because, you, you see, then, they, you know, inside research, they will say, called experimental and control. So we try to understand, say, this thing is alone no more. No, look at other countries, then, but we're similar to Sierra Leone. So the Manor River, within the Manor River Union, in fact, we go to the Liberian border, you like say no more, na salon you we are all common the economies are the same the behavioral pattern are the same largely the governance systems are the same the the, the we want for know whether then country and the violence affect the growth the economic growth that much and which in are the, the the drivers of violence in fact if now that make it fine for understand um, you get a number of data sources for example you get a uh, uh, global peace index the global peace index it look at every country in peacefulness and when you look at the global peace index we can come out always Salomon they say we saw ranking day then get a number of indicators inside the global peace index you get at least fractionality then uh, the ability for let at least then come together and agree then you get the within the afrobarometer again your own data where they talk about trust in institution do people trust the police do people trust the the, the courts um world bank we largely now we consult on the economic indicators. World Bank gets what they call you, you know that. Madabio, make we get a spokesperson now the studio we na Alpha Khan. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning, Salon. Good morning. Okay, continue first. Yes. Good morning, the people. Then. Okay. Continue first day with me inside the program. We also get C D Yaya Tunis from the All People's Congress APC Party as C D represent them. Uh, the program this morning. CD, once again, good morning. Good morning again, Musa. Thank you very much. We topic of discussion now political violence and the impact on the country economy from the All People's Congress APC Party. What will make up of political violence as you get from Andrew Lavalli? We then catalog uh, violence then from 2012 to date and also zoom in on few of them and the cost on the nation. We in for can analyze later. Well, first of all, you get for uh, first define which in a political violence for let you even able for establish whether waiting with they refer to as demonstrations or violence we don't happen at this country um, get anything for do with politics, you know? Because as far as I'm concerned, when you look at uh, the analysis we um, we don't listen to. I not go entirely classify them as political violence or political demonstrations. Because like you just say, we get two main political parties, Nasalun, um, the APC and the SLPP, and um, a lot of the violence that we don't happen or demonstrations we don't happen at this country, you not go directly attribute them as a result of politics. Yes, of course, some of them they win our politics. So we get for first of all try for classify that one day. Like for instance, um, the generator incident that Makini may not go take that one day for be political violence. Because if um, a group of people are uh, dissatisfied over the fact say they want to move a generator out of the city to another place and then decide, you know, for jump, I don't feel say that one day gets anything for do with politics. It get a whole lot for do with um you know, probably how, you know, leaders or, you know, institutions respond to particular incidents them. So we therefore also try for understand that one day. 
and generally um we get for also no say like he say we will come to the drivers later but i just want for say we get for also no say you know there are things we go make people decide for you know riot or or demonstrate from we own part as a political party from 2012 2018 2020 we always don't the try for ensure say we maintain peace and quiet in the country many times the way people don't come out or people they threaten for demonstrate or people don't come out on the street we as a political party come out outrightly and dissociate ourselves from their acts and they we don't come out outrightly and encourage people for you know not for participate by riot or demonstrations we don't hear about or where people don't threaten for do we know as a political party ever really come out and call for demonstration or support any demonstration even where we don't see clearly you know we been disadvantaged direct attacks on we offices direct attacks on we people arrest of we you know membership and even a party officials direct attack on members of parliament sitting and pass we always don't the restraint we say because of course we know the impact within things and they, they get on the country in peace and the economy generally and we don't they insist on the fact say you know for let we grow as a nation we get for also maintain peace and quiet which is why it is important that we did get a reports then like this so that we all will continue for look at them but whereas would they say that one day at the same time we go we get for also respect the fact say the fundamental rights of people for make them able for express themselves and i think say as um leaders whether you did in governance or you did in opposition, our responsibility for ensure say institutions able for make sure say people able for do that in a way where it will be peaceful, where it will be orderly, and we not go create chaos or problems, we go lead to then kind impacts and they will they see they happen. So so as far as I'm concerned, I think we get for look at violence generally and not so much limit to political violence because I know, except around elections time, where sometimes you go see direct confrontation between the APC supporters and the SLPP supporters, you know, but uh, outside of elections, mostly not merely between people and state institutions, particularly the police, because people will be aggrieved. Yes, we also don't get instances where in violence don't occur away the economic impact on citizens can for be you know looked at um, houses were burnt in some places during the election period for example you know go you know rule that one day out the economic impact with and they go don't get on their individuals and they were involved you know where they lost their houses where they lost their homes where they lost families and all of them things then they so if may get for respond i think say for a start this time take so far all right um i see the um even though over the past year the party don't the you know um pull press release of wearing on a soon and the part of any demonstration but again people don't they accuse um on a party of failing some of the demonstrations them waking up on i don't know which particular demonstration the way you go say we party don't fail because i, I sure say I mean, they accuse una. well i mean accusations is accusations i mean i go also sit on i accuse government on several things that we don't happen we don't go wrong but then did they really solve the problem no i think what we have to do is you know as leaders we get for ensure say you know we 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 treat demonstrations as demonstrations we treat riots as riots we treat protests as protests that is why i'm very much reluctant for use the word political violence because what that does is when you begin for use political violence or politics you they make them difficult or the state institutions we suppose for take the appropriate actions go become limited for make them act in a manner in which then they, they're supposed for act for curb 
that particular mm -hmm. violence. And I they say this because we all on the sea. We they try for attach color to everything in this country to a point that if me na color red, I want to do something. The way how the state institution, the police or other institutions then go react to me, a different from how they go react to the man we wear color green or vice versa, depending on whether they are government at a particular time. And because of that, Andy, we always don't they fail for ensure say we're really able for address issues head on because we always they attach politics to them. If somebody sit on some side, a call for demonstration, first of all, no try for identify other than this person. Secondly, no try for no why make a call for this protest or demonstration <coughs> and which institutions they represent and all of them things them. But many a time, as soon as somebody call for demonstration, depending on the angle outside the person they call from, we don't attach say this person belong to this party or that party. And as a result of that, how the investigation even supposed for go not they go that way they again. How the thoroughness will for use for get to the bottom of why this person want for protest or this group of people want for protest or demonstrate will not they address the issues then they again because we don't allow politics for cloud that. So as a result of that, you know, it affect the economy, it affect the way of life, it affect we all security, it affect we all stability and you know, and they move away investors with Dandy also, they compound even a bigger problem of uh, unemployment. So all of them things then they will get for look at. We come to the presidential spokesman, we now uh, Alpha Khan. We they look at the issue of uh, violence protest and political instability in a salon. You come out from the government angle and you know the presidential spokesman. What in government make up of violence and uh, impact on the country economy? Thank you very much, Musa. When you talk about violence at any period, at the person within power and at the victim, then the whole thing will be focused against. And the government really they shun and look at such things as uh, really unwelcome. And they do everything for try to dissuade that, even before the violence and the demonstrations start. Government they take a serious, make serious effort for really talk people out of that kind of. Uh, Situation because at the end of the day, like I Andrew Lavalier of IGR say, are the people they suffer, are the economy they suffer, the government they suffer. So it is not a welcome thing for that kind of thing to happen. And nobody knows the power. You know, go be chief in the village. You want every day where you come out, you meet with people in the Hala Hala na, na the town center. So for me, this tone we are doing, my young brother from the APC they talk, very welcoming. If then Tonya have been the way with them in the talk, prior to periods where the threats, both from outside and inside the country, the uh, scaremongering about uh, violence coming at a particular date and all that, if they had come out at that time, before the effect, of the in the day, I should say it be for avoid most. Because most times, people who want to demonstrate, they want to associate with those who are not in power and have political power, political intentions. So I will not say a political party they sponsor that, but those who want the way they do them, they always feel, say, when we do this, we will help this party, we will help this group, and the government will be in a bad shape, they will look bad, and people will revolt against them. So when this thing is so, Adwehri, Tunis, Al-Haji, uh, uh, yeah, Tunis, they talk in the tone that they condemn all forms of violence and violent protests and political instability. For me, I think it's a welcome thing this for we in Sierra Leone. The time for healing in this, the time for violence and recriminations don't pass. The issue about the uh, 
Makini, generator, we all know. We know it can be happen. The stakeholders were engaged by the Ministry of Energy over a period for two, three weeks. They tell them, say, well, they can't pull this because we need an alunge. Unfortunately, when they go for Gopulam, even though at that time, Lungi no, uh, McKinney no did that, he couldn't get 24 hour light almost 365 days a year. So it was an idle asset of government where they need somewhere else when an airport been there. People then go out to do It was sad because people lost their lives. It's not necessary. I listened to President William Ruto of uh, Kenya. He said, if him being don't pay more attention to communicating with these people and the public in the right way, see the problems will happen with the introduction of that finance bill known for happen. It's in a failure in communication. I know say the Ministry of Energy being make uh, attempt to communicate through stakeholders, but maybe it wasn't widespread enough for let the general public understand that. Possibly the stakeholders kept it to themselves. If had the uh, the the, the uh, issue been explained to the people, I should say the Makeni people don't for go out okay. for stop that. Mm -hmm. So for me, I don't think in attend this again for can begin the count all waiting on pass. It is good to remember, not to forget. But if I'm for lay, we move on. All right. And at this moment, I feel very, very happy and comforted that the party where me come out, and we were there in power at the moment, we all don't mm -hmm. see violence not good for Sierra Leone. So we let we keep that and let it begin the way they come up. Feel safe for go school. All let right. the mamie feel safe for going to market. And let people then feel safe for going to farm. That's not the point we make an eye for. I'm really happy that we are talking in this tone these days because Sierra Leone is not the only country where we get. Okay. Now, um, even though we will ask and do, within us some of the court system, we, this report capture will really lead to some of the issues that we will discuss inside the program. But from government point of view, within us some of the causes, um, honorable, we make some of, some then that we can get some of the issues there, we can lead to problems in the country. The same causes that lead to problems like that in any other country. I just cited you the example of Kenya. The presidency na a lack of proper communication. That is why we on government today, we they put a premium on communicating with the people. We put a premium on talking to the people so that we listen to their concerns and we listen to their problems before anything happens or anybody else try to change them and, 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 and turn them into something else. That is why you now see the president he go to a town hall meeting for talk with him in Dundu and then listen to questions where people they ask him. And that makes people like we, we like the spokesman for the president, and they go almost every weekend now to districts for talk to the people at their local level at their local in their local languages for explain to them what in government they do and learn and then listen to feedback from the people. When you do that, you avoid unpleasant things. The president of Kenya said they could have avoided the nineteen people the way they if they don't talk well to them people about the finance bill. They say the two point four billion shillings where they lost from people they market and all that way they burn. They shops them. They saloon them. And all. You see, all that been for avoided just by communication. Government don't realize now, say, it is important for let we pay attention, serious attention, for let we communicate with the people. You can do everything. You can pave the streets with gold. If the people don't know how you did it and what you did it for and how you got the money to do it, they will assume all sorts of things. They give opportunity for miscreants. Bad people then for begin the twist time, even though it is good that you pave the streets in gold, they'll tell you see without gold you for take and go make it in and all then kind of and other people look at it another way. So it would now be very important for let we continue for the communicate and the inter party dialogue is on. We are going to be keep keep talking. We self self now we communication section. We get for the go meet the uh, APC communication section. We're gonna talk. Let me see who side we they meet and who side we they come out. And for me, me at the bridge. I've been dizzy. I was heading that at the APC. Now I'm heading it at the SLPP. Nobody can be a better bridge for that than me. Today we they look at the uh, violence, protest, and political instability. The impact we get on the country economy. We get Andrew Lavalli now the studio with me.
and uh, a, the mm -hmm. IGR do reports recently with the name the cost of violence protest and political instability in Sierra Leone 2020 to 2023 and Ulavali you get from CD Tunis they talk about some of them protest here get to do with the economy get to do with the people and agree uh, grievances and also get to do with different things and we perhaps not get to do with politics but don't look at the report we want to put together cost of violence protest and political instability in Sierra Leone how them protest here we on a record over the past year them on a catalog instead of a report get for do with politics or what not the relation with them violence uh, to politics Thank you very much. I think Siago, it's useful for Lago directly to the um, report findings for let's just fumble and know which another thing. Um, with, with 19, they will find out. Because when they see how they happen, whether it's the opposition, it's the ruling party, it affects everybody. We decide for study this because, you know, when they calculate what they call GDP, GDP not the wealth with the country get. Sometimes in the, the one way they calculate and their economies, they're not input. Sometimes protests get for the so in fact you get when bookman then they advise say the moment you do that they, they get that country they forecast wrong you know why because we protest day that money we forgive farmer that they get to police say you go protect that day. we violence day that money we forget for school picking that they go give na, na so yaman and they get her or then go buy bullets so we we go for make a trade-off as to whether we want for let we buy bullets or let we get investment in healthcare or whether we want for let people then get microcredit or let we get um, greater investment uh, you know or we'll get a refugee situation with for for handle so now because of all of them thing and day this report here we design them basically for say low study waiting to happen and low understand what the drivers and it's good way then to big party there then they are low actually get a movement we go say then thing and then not go happen again because if finally APC, SLPP, then they sit on a platform like this, then they talk about how do we create jobs. You get a lot of people in a salon, it be Makenio, or it be Bo, then they find it difficult to get food. How and where politicians, whether in a SLPP, in a opposition, in a ruling party, the essence of people and being leaders are for solving problems. Eh? So if finally people and they hang it all the time as to wait, wait in, uh, how they for solve them problem. Eh? We realize, eh, um, between 2020 to 2023, we get 42 days for we'll Sidon. 42 days we protest affect. That means say you get kuskas, you get run run. People in able go side and they go in able pull the market. They don't pull checkpoints in the common market. Nikaya, we have 42 days. In fact, we pull land inside 2023, we get 24 days. You get about uh, 250 productive days. We pull the weekend them. Uh, where you pull holidays then um, inside the year it's almost 10 percent of the time we we'll lost in terms of gdp we we'll calculate down the if we we'll compare to other countries then just in 2023 in gdp terms we lost about seven percent growth and we quantify that in money terms it's about 417 million dollars which matrix when i use for doing calculation Iboku, yeah Iboku. take now me through that, some now, now, now for that say then data are available if you go to world bank um you, you get what they call um difference in difference analysis i know and love will not talk book there the, the 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 reality is um first and foremost we try for look at waiting at the gdp of the country there and the first and foremost with gdp you get growth pattern how then they grow the second one we look at uh, the peace index the peace index then get political instability then get violent demonstration then get unemployment all of them and then they so if they pull them one by one we say them country i don't look at violent demonstration but you look at violent demonstration index of them you pull them so at the end of the day you go actually able for zoom this gdp growth here is it because of or is it because of political instability is it because of unemployment is it because of trust in the courts so if they pick pick and one by one then get i mean econometrics and get it with the kid one if they pull them one by one one by one but for the purpose of the audience, if I follow no say, we look at 2016 alone, 2023 alone, the growth we we'll make in iron ore, the, the, the contribution, all the iron ore we we'll export that year, now $1.16 billion. And when you watch, it, it's, it's a big growth we take place. In fact, the time when Sierra Leone grew on the back of iron ore was in 2013. 
where if you go, go inside um, you know the uh, world, world development indicators they, they show you say Sierra Leone will grow at 20 percent a year you, you understand that eh? we we'll only grow in 2023 2023 by by three percent so if you pull if violence not been there Sierra Leone growth for on the double digit because of the kind way with with the economy being grow so if I for le, this are the first term for let actually get the research where they say no pull this out back if this person not be slapped this how for one day and we for clearly get ways there for them so every day musa let me finish this for every day this economy closed down for with a lost 20 million 21 million dollars for every day when they talk to say kuskas Sunday. for every day that they happen with the lost 21 what, million. what's not the linkage of them violence a catalog to that of politics then get any relationship of course you get political instability you get violent demonstration. So political instability, one of the things and one of the biggest drivers now what they call group grievance and the other one that they call them elite fractionality. It's not a big word. Elite fractionality actually means the inability for the elites then agree and salon that's our biggest problem. If they say now for food, how do you get APC and SLPP say law agree but we get all the political differences, but law agree but how salon will get chop. Huh? So you go Nabo, you get Boku Pikine, we will not get jobs. You go Makini, you get Boku Timni, Bobo, then you just like you go, boy, you get Boku Mende, Bobo, then Mende Titi, then back, they not get work. How do you get political elites from both sides say, let us address employment? Unfortunately, we know they see that one day. So, what in this research they try for do for say, this elite fractionality, this group grievance, and if, if unemployment is high in a country, um then you get elites they never get along you know what in the apple it is spark violence frequently so i know it talks a one party responsible for them but the reality is that we know they create the conditions which will make we we become very productive the other one way now one of the biggest driver and trust in institutions we get this from a four barometer we real we compare sierra leone to place like togo uh if so it's sierra leone get now only 36 percent of citizens they actually trust the courts as opposed to 52 percent in togo now only 18 percent of citizens they trust the police so the regression way then do we, 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 we will do it should say if you if citizens the more citizens then trust the courts the less the violence and so in fact you will actually compare togo then gdp growth just because then the harvest from from non-violence or trust in institution as opposed to Sierra Leone. So like how you talk, how do we do them? You they pick them one by one. Say if you if people then trust if unemployment high by ten percent, we think will be the, the, the effect on violence and which will be the effect on GDP growth. All right. So that's so we pick them one by one, yes. Oh, okay now any protests we can happen or issues we can happen we can not say young people are more can involved. This report able to capture People that we die during some of them processes there before go over to Mr. Tunis? Obviously, we from all of the end situations there, we counted. In fact, I'd encourage everybody go to Crisis 24. Just write Crisis 24. You go to that website. You, I don't need for doing. You bring go count. You just need for take your time, take your days. You calculate. We calculated from all of the incidences then the 83 people the minimum 83 people and then die. We will talk to you today. Uh, this riot, now this prison, 31 people then die. This school will happen, 30, uh, so many people then don't die. This will not happen. And so we actually look at death. We, we actually look at death where they come up from. And of course, it get implication for women because a lot of them are man them. But it get implication for women and children because in the left homes them, we unattended to. So the car say the overriding theme we'll get in this report and how they make sure they don't here they not happen again. Okay. All right, continue for the way to inside the program. We'll cover to you, um, City Tunis. As a political party, what do you want to do for make sure say some of the issues they are not continue or repeat? <laughs> well, thank you very much. First of all, um, you know, I don't read the report. Um, it, it highlights plenty of things that we are sure say we would only talk about. Um, you know, but we probably not be able for it assess the economic impact some of the issues that they get um, on the country <coughs> we always don't insist in terms of political instability for example i think say 
we don't get a lot of political grievance in Salon since 2018 or since we start the elections process in this country. But of course, from time to time, we always don't do things that we, we feel say we for do for strengthening institutions so that uh, we go address some of them things then they, they see what they come out with laws like for example public elections act you would get PPRC you get you know how institutions therefore relate especially around elections time and all of this but of course you know from time to time again we don't repeatedly see how the institutions then they, they fail the nation and that make it very important that they will capture the fact say people the the issues of trust and confidence in with public institutions then they we don't need to speak around the issues then they and um for god knows how long you know and within this particular period where this research focus on you don't see how much, you know, we don't come out because I go say for the most part we have been on the receiving side as a political party. But uh, you know, I always they insist that uh, you know we side with this so now as a country, you know, a good that we don't do things differently. I say a good that we don't do things differently. Like for example, we see the 2023 elections. We say we get huge grievance about that election the high go but the manner in which the leaders and decide for go about are different we not go court yes but then we don't able to sit on we look at issues that we will feel say affect elections generally in this country and how we go make them better agreements that don't come in reports that don't come on out we will all they try for implement the reports then they but in so doing we also get for act responsibly as citizens and as leaders of with various political parties, whether you know governing party or opposition party, from the way how we you know relate to things the way they happen, how we react to things the way they happen, we involve individuals them or institutions, and even the statements then what would they make and how we as public servants or leaders or even public institutions they react to their statements then they made by one person as opposed to the others all of them things then they will get for if somebody threatened for bring war regardless of who that other person they we all for make sure say you know we deal with them the way we the law say we for deal with them we're not for cherry pick if somebody threatening you know for react to something with bullet or with whatever we all for react to that person the the way how we feel say the law say we for react regardless of who that or who side belong and if somebody threatening for bringing you know protest even though we know say are the rights of citizens but if we feel say it unnecessary and it will bring unnecessary chaos and unrest in this country i think say now we all responsibility for law and sure say we step in and stop that day. and if we also think say anybody we hold office public in office for example they act recklessly now we all responsibility for ensure say we call our person day out you know and make sure say it do what in the law say if we do because unless and until we start for behave then kind way then day and then we go address the issues they are head on and make sure say we really put we money we say we money for go you know and we really cater for we citizens how we supposed for cater for them but then you know a lot of things happen inside and that we would not i don't feel say we for just zero in on the political side of it we also get for look at some of the other drivers then you know government also get responsibilities to citizens and we most times if government fail in their responsibilities then they there is every possibility say citizens go react in a manner in which we see they happen not only in Sierra Leone in many countries you know and mostly citizens the young way of reacting are through protest through you know expressing their grievances somebody will go sit down and talk with you one for talk somebody go sit down and call people and say let we converge and express with grievance so which is why it is important for us as leaders for ensure say 
if we ever get forget to that situation day we say a group of citizens will become so aggrieved that that they want for protest we get for ensure say we pro we want like i say earlier able for identify order why they want for waiting the law say around and the and how we as state institutions go ensure say we provide the enablers for make them able to do it in a way where you know will be bring any violence or unrest or chaos now the country to a point that we get for lost money as IGRC say with the loss or we get for lost properties as IGRC say the loss i say this because uh, quite apart from the right part of that if citizens also suppressed so much in a way that they feel say they're not even get a platform for express themselves then will resolve into doing things way sometimes by the time we the leaders and the law enforcement don't know say they want to hide on late okay. and as a nation and as you know institutions we not feel say we're supposed for for so they don't for make it get to that level so if i for holistically let we together engagements they are let everybody know their responsibilities the police for know clearly how for engage with citizens the judiciary know exactly how for dispense justice so anybody know they feel disadvantaged say they know they get justice because they belong to a or b and also we serve as leaders something not will just happen we begin for point fingers say oh this now this party now that party because right. now this group of people do it because mostly when we continue that way they that they make, they make we're not able for address so there's so many issues what in they happen in kenya right now for example you know they see color you know they see that they attribute them to a particular political party or a particular group of leaders you know these are kenyans we come out and talk as kenyans we come out for for express themselves because they see say, things that they happen where they affect every kenyan and I sure say people and in this country also, we go one for do that and they for express themselves because they are Sri Unions, not necessarily belonging to any political party right. because they are grieved about certain things the way they happen. And as the reports don't capture some of them things and they are things that we as leaders, whether government or opposition, we for look at this report, study them and really begin for engage on their issues then they so that we prevent then things the way they make we lose money in a manner in which they don't highlight to it we come to alpha khan we are the presidential spokesperson uh earlier you don't listen to andrew lavalli then scope and limitation then do from 2012 to 2023 but then zero in on 2020 to 2023 and this uh, during the reign of una um, government and plenty issues they're responsible for the violence protest yeah as government what you wanna they do for solve some of the issues here yeah, we no good lead to protest again of the citizens thank you very much we know able to solve them problem and again and don't pass no going for further. prevent them now that we get for do. And I tell you just now say, with the engaged citizens now, with the engaged all stakeholders, youth, women, traders, farmers, almost on a weekly basis or daily basis, anytime we get opportunity. Because if we have live data, we get live reactions from our people, we're not gonna make mistake. So then they would don't put it aside. We are going to work on the communication with the people then. But I want to address an issue with Andrew Reyes, with my small brother also, buttress. And I think that is the fundamental problem we have in Sierra Leone, if not the world in particular, in, in general. Every country, Sierra Leone inside it, gets what they call a national constitution. That constitution, they, it focuses only on politics. Look at the Sierra Leone Constitution. All it talks about politics. How for win election, how for be president, how for be MP. They're not talking about how you go develop the country and the people. What is lacking and what we should be working towards is that we forget what is called a national development constitution. And how do you do that? President Bill don't try recently with the medium term national development economic plan. 
2030. If he able to continue till 2030, or the impact he able to continue till 2030, he will follow that rigorously and religiously. But if somebody else comes, in the true am, you pick another one. At that end, you're going back to the drawing board. So what do we need for do? Now forget what they call a national conference. Like how uh, al haji Tijan Kababin do. When he come up with Vision 2025. Where we put all the things they will believe say for happen. For improve the lives of Sierra Leone. For improve the economy of Sierra Leone. Up to the year 2025. But when we come in 2007, we come with Vision. We throw it around We started from scratch. Now 2018, the ASLPP safe camp. They now continue with waiting the APC left. They start their own with human capital development and all that. So every time you have a beginning, and every five years you reset. You know it will get continuity. So what do we need for do as a nation is that we forget a constitution. I call it a constitution in inverted commas for national development. Our politics, our constitutions are looking at politics only. But not to forget, say, there's the politics and the economics, now then they go together, although they are almost mutually exclusive. They say you cannot have good politics and have good economics at the same time. Or good, pol good economics and good politics at the same time. But I believe, say, if we design what we want as a nation for a period, call it 20 years or 25 years, say, we want to make the roads all over the country during the first five years. The next one, we want for make sure say, we even get a shipping company for they bring we good stem from overseas and take we on and go, we're not get for they pay other people and for do the shipping for we. You get a plan. We all agree. APC, SLPP, PMDC, we sign to that. So when time comes for every party come with your own manifesto, you stick within that national development constitution. The difference will be the priorities you place on which you want to do first and all that. So if we don't do that, it's going to be a reset every time anybody else comes. Now you make, uh, my brother, uh, I don't give a new word today, you call it elite fractionality. The one day at the top, no, they meet up. Because all man want for undermining company. You want for Pantem Ned and Colin Santi, we post in the you want sweeper make it for them. Santi go come from Paul. For the when it falls, you stand. No, it shouldn't be that. Post enough for them for let you tin up. We all can tin up. That elite fractionality day, we can only avoid them if we have a common platform and a common goal we will all go up to. So that if me want for be president, I go make a list of priorities within the national development. Aguna as a people. And do one for be president. Instead, look at the, the same national development within it, just like how they do the national development. They have a, it well me thinking, honestly. The national development plan, it look at like how any time you want to make a law, we laws always keep to the constitution. No law, no the way they outside the constitution. So every development strategy will get for the within that national constitution, which we don't have. And I don't think any country has that. Maybe America has, because they get that um, Simpsonian Institute for the for next 50 years or 100 years. They plan for that. We don't. It's ad hoc for we as we go. That's what we pick. So I believe, say, if we do that, then we look back at our constitution, even the political constitution. How do we avoid this constant fit fit for later when they come on a power, let me come, they say that. Why? The simple reason is that me want for be the man who pulls the purse strings. Let me they open the purse, I put. Let me they open the purse, I pull. But if we agree that as a constitution, when elections done, all parties will take part in the, in the election. They come together in a coalition government where all man gets taken inside. Nobody know the fighting company. Nobody know the kill them. Are they come? Are they come? We just saw that happen in South Africa. The bitterest of enemies, the ANC, against the Democratic Alliance, the White Man Party, with them in the fact that they over appetite. Today that they did together, then they work for the good of South Africa. We must think about these things. I always they talk them. You know how to make people they know they fit in a World Cup? Because Second Monday. Not to the first man no more we win nine the carol thing go. When you don't win the gold cup, 
They run up, they get the silver cup. Then there are other various parties the way they get the best uh, ballon d'or, a golden cup, golden football, golden uh, boot, and all that kind. People get things from it. They go home with it. All man, they go and dance. But if we don't do that, we will always be in a position where, as Andrew Tinapso, I they go Santiago, as uh, 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 Miss Sidom Tunis. I want to go pull the chair on the right. That is what we must no, avoid. No. We look for a situation. We, now we make the constitution. Now we, we make the constitution Bible. Now we make the constitution. Let's the make it so that it provides safety and security for us. We nobody know the cause cons- for killing companies. Because when the election done, Andrew go be inside the government. Me go be inside the government. Cons- we kill nobody. Constitutional review still the on, on cause. Yes. And uh, the last time we talked to you, you say you are the amplifier. Now yes. within. They part tell you yes. they relate to the public. Yes, the transmitter. W- w- the transmitter. And the amplifier. The amplifier. What right. did they talk to now? Is it the thinking of the president? No, presidents? this is my thinking. This is my thinking. Here, yeah? this today now, I tell you, you, this man brings a new word. He talk about elite fractionality. You know, the now we vocabulary it in the area. And I don't write and don't. I think ah, we'll talk okay. with the power for this elite fractionality. That mean the people at the top know the degree. For let them work together. How will we remove this fractionality and law become an integrality? Law come together and integrate. We integrate only if we have one common goal. And what is the common goal? Let Sierra Leone go before, irrespective of who is in power. But when it did happen, when Siren go McKinney, let Siren also go Bo at the same time. Okay. So let's say command day. Now that now I'm in position. All right. And so I will continue doing this. I go to talk to now. I will talk to all of us. At the end of the day, now people get for free. Do we want peace, permanent peace in Sierra Leone? Yes, if we have that, let me get second man. Well, the cover to Andrew Lavalli. Um, this report gets recommendation them. Take me through with some of the recommendation them. We um, gonna recommend to government or other institution them. Thank you very much. So this recommendation of all. So if our recommendation we really did for the media, um, we will not really put and I want for include at this time. You know, say so the more the media promotes development conversation like quitting uh, with Big Brother um, uh, presidential spokesperson they talk. The more we they get um, the media, they actually talk. We love bring APC SLPP together, how they talk about growth, how they talk about food, how they talk about health. Not to would have slap this person. All that the important do not get me wrong. If they slap somebody that person will get it right. But how do we improve justice? You know see um I like within the, the spokesperson they talk but we this party can kind of power the, the use of justice as a resource how that justice they can be a resource including the security it be a tool for sup- uh, op- oppression how do we because the more we get convergence on where we all want to go the better we can do that and the that both apc and slpp will be able to predict say if somebody slap you it doesn't mm-hmm. matter your party you'll get right now so few few recommendations I think this report really glad it, and we will say kudos to the American government and the UN and ECOWAS for letting really facilitate letting two party accounts you don't know, get to trap a tight they agree on 80 recommendations we we'll come quickly to the one that we don't agree on I think say beyond just agree on those recommendations therefore really foster further conversation on the real things that we did develop with honorable Africa can talk about a development constitution but even before you go and a lot of agree on a few things there. Um, some of the days are the national development plan, but things around mining. How you go there as a country when the mine? You Tom Kolili mm-hmm. Sidon pants up over five billion dollars of, of worth of uh, iron ore, but the people and it was one of the poorest. Mm-hmm. We see over billions of dollars of root iron and moyamba. Every day people and they harass you. The elite and for agree say this place where God put we. Now this will get for do for harvest now and then. So you get for get six steps there for let's see this is the improved perception of the police, perception of the courts. And the one the way they drive the police, they drive the courts, they actually get for take then then steps and then. Where you they pass na checkpoints, you they see police and get the biggest interface with citizens. So you, a lot of citizens talk say, but that police and they just break me no more for letting extort me, let them act or something from me. If we bring the at the moment military approval rating is very high because the citizens they get too much interface with the military but the more they get interface with the military the more they get extortion that approval rating will drop we will lead to more distrust and we will lead to violence at the end of the day 
So we see say government they, they tripartite then get recommendations we don't agree on. And because they don't agree on their recommendation, it means we still get the seed of discontent okay. among the party then. Let me just finish this point. So we, we, we realize it and what there's one thing we political parties never know. We owed this democracy not only on the back of the one the way way they talk say I'm a right. Now the under the one the way they talk say I'm a right me, but salon bigger. We see in nineteen ninety six, John Kerry first smart, he talks say, I not trust this election. James Jones now when I be the electoral commissioner, I see I say, Lord, come together, Lona solve this UNT Jankaba. The war be the range on. It's okay, okay let's rally on past that. 2007, 477 polling stations, 89.3 percent of them we are from Solomon Bera area. It disagree with the election result, but it talks in you know, Salon. In fact, in new words, it said they don't for spill anybody in blood for me because let me turn president. So you can get credit. President Bio, he do the same in 2012. There was they will count the result, Madam Trump said, Go police. Um, there was standoff in three days. The after then three days, and they you go body of Christ. Then go carry go to President Kuruma. You go say congratulations. Fast forward in 2018, when that they really most of them senior don't come out in 2018. 83 84 percent of citizens and talk say that election was fair, it was free and fair. This is not to me, the talk and this is barometer. But you get questions around that. I believe say if fine for let people with a question of course you get I know you talk say let election be fraudulent no election not for you fraudulent it should be free and fair fast forward just the last point we look at 2023 we get great lessons that would they learn like 2023 if you look like uh um uh, uh, Yvonne Akisoya Yvonne Akisoya there was this issue of blood now the APC uh party office later I realized that this is not true they say I apologize we need more politicians than they will like get integrity for say i cannot mislead my people so okay. the more the, the more people like, because it's difficult for their politician actually confront the truth because sometimes you. he lost power because of that yeah, yeah thank you very much andrew lavalli for the recommendations that we the reports puts together and we don't share with the public if you listen to andrew lavalli we in the executive director igr he did talk about the report with our cost of violence protest and political instability in sierra leone 2022 2020 20, 20 to 2023 we can't see the mm -hmm. from the all people's congress apc party quick Inside the program, your point, what is the way forward? Um, <laughs> look, I think, say, to a large extent, um, we get for also be very honest and sincere as politicians, and we get for know when for do politics and when not for do politics, and this cuts across, even, um, you know, when we don't pass the political period, we don't, you know done with elections we don't get the one that we for lead we i think say you know we we focus for be on discussions that we get for do with the progress and development of the country and then they they supposed for come up from we all even when are the journalists there if if when i call we for example who can't discuss unemployment let it be solely on on unemployment within the cause on employment, how we feel say we for address unemployment. And then the discussion focus on that day, I think say it will help you a lot. If you call me and the government and you say, oh wait APC be the why would I not do that? So then the discussion they turn politics. Because now you they push me for defend my record as a political party rather than speaking on the issues and how we feel say we for solve and going forward. So then kind things then they that we, we, we need for begin for develop holistically as a nation for help we for okay. address some of the issues they are so if I sit down I have with the police spokesperson I suppose for able to tell and say look we are citizens this way we they handle matters relating to protests when it comes to this set of citizens if you do and so for the for the others i believe they will be able for address you thank know you. violence around protest and other uh, things then thank so, you very can we thank it? you very much cd uh, tunis uh, from the all people's congress apc party now the national publicity secretary account to you alpha khan presidential spokesperson the way forward thank you very much for me the way forward i think say andrew mentioned say in 2013 sierra leone the great great of GDP growth was 20%, the highest in the world at that time. 
And I tell you, Andrew, it was 35 percent. Now, the Minister of Finance, now in shame, he said the number too big. Mm -hmm. He said, Do I allow talk to World Bank? Let them reduce them by 15 percent. Mm -hmm. That was Samura. I was then the Minister of Mines at that time. It was so high that Samura said, Shame. You see, it's too big because we consider China, which was second at that time, now been 12 percent. So, it should say there is a lot of opportunity for low growth and the minerals. But what, why are we not growing? Take the history. Before the war, NDMC was high work. Government didn't get 51 percent. They tell me we did study in England. Month no, they don't you money don't reach. We don't study. Then they say with man, and they go pack your things them for you. They send in a ship. You know, ticket no money. They give you go to the airport. The things that they meet you in a free town. And they send money for buy car. You come with it. That was Sierra Leone because mm -hmm. now we be the control. Fifty one percent. Then the war come. When the war done, nobody know they come for invest in the country. So per capacity, let we try for kickstart the economy. You, you, you give you thirty four million dollars. Maybe in the parliament. Now I say, let me say a route out. So that they can build up and then absorb the young people, make them begin work. That was how it happened. And then they asked for all sorts of concessions, even for stop taxes and all that. TTD9 is stop on. So money is not coming up beyond the 3%. We would get. But now, President Bill, he said, oh, stop that now. From now on, then they set up a company called the Sierra Leone Mineral Wealth Development. We then got lead to the mineral wealth. And that one day now, any company, I know said you one they don't do. Any new one we come for come mine now, you are going to negotiate the terms with the mineral wealth fund uh, company. And the minimum for Sierra Leone uh, shareholding will be fifty percent, maximum sixty percent. And you talk and I've been to money. And that's a fact. We are working on that now. So really we get for reset. We just stop and begin back. If we do that, I'm sure we're going to get back to those things. Yes, sorry? No, we will not get consensus on that. That's what I'm just suggesting. On the mineral wealth? Yes. That's an executive issue. We will talk to them. <laughs> when it comes for political, we will call them. No, it is executive. <laughs> now, government work now and then. They will talk to you later. They will, it will be informed. But to know, call you, you are not part of the government. You understand? It will go to parliament where APC is present. You understand? And they have the opportunity then to make their own suggestions. Not so? So that is what happened. And I think it went there already. And the parliamentarians, including the APC, they agree to that. So yes, we have done it with the APC. It was <laughs> in the parliament. So thank you very much. So now so we we'll do. Let we reset, stop and reset. Let we start back. And President Bill, don't do that. And in the minimum, the, the midterm national development economic plan, we really get good, good things tended till 2030. Okay. So if we get opportunity, if we get on to 2030, and then there's continuity, I hope say, by that time we don't get a national development constitution. Because all we talk about in our constitution is politics. We need to talk about how people Thank can you. live the economy. Thank you, Thank you very much.